Hello, my dear friends. Today, we're gonna be making uh, black pepper beef with green beans, sauteed like, yesterday I was craving some Chinese food. So today we're gonna try and make it ourselves, our style, So and we'll see how is it gonna go. I already prepared, slicing up some of that beef, and uh, we got some, uh, sliced onion and we got the uh, green beans sitting right over here in the strainer to strain the liquid out of it so and uh, let's see how it's gonna be let's see how it's gonna you know it's gonna look like how it's gonna taste end of the day like i say you know it's like it doesn't have to look good it doesn't have to be look all that but as long it tastes really good you made it, I'm sure it's gonna taste really good. So let's get together and let's go ahead and do it. And uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. This is a brand new channel and we're trying to make it happen. And uh, with your support, it can. So let's go ahead and start doing it and uh, work on that. We already got a ourselves uh, a walk and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start doing it. Over here we have uh, sesame oil, we got uh, oyster oil or oyster sauce. You want to make it a little bit kick, use some uh, crushed red pepper and we got ourselves a little bit of uh, soy sauce so and we have salt and pepper so we're gonna do this one step in a time one step in a time and we're gonna put it on the side then after that we go ahead and uh, put everything together and we'll see the end of it you know hopefully as soon as this pan start getting hot so Inside the pan, we're going to go ahead and start putting some oil. I am not going to use the oyster sauce right now. I'm not going to use the sesame oil. I just want to like, cook everything, put it away. Then after that, then we'll put the, se the sauces together and we'll uh, mix everything together and we'll see it. And I'll show you everything. How is it done? You know, it shouldn't be taking too long. This is like very simple recipe that uh, I'm just like sitting and uh, said, okay, I just need this, need this, need this, and we got all the stuff. So just go ahead and start working on it. And uh, We're gonna start caramelizing the, uh, cooking the, the beef to get the flavor inside the pan, you know. And we, like I said, you know, we're not gonna season it right now. Everything is gonna be towards the end. So this is basically So whatever juice that's going to come out of the, the meat, it's going to stay there. That's going to be an extra flavor for the beans and the onions and the garlic and all that stuff. It should not take too long, it should like about a minute or so. And it doesn't have to be 100% well done. 
because we're gonna recook it again. Okay. Now we'll put it away. And we still have the juice from the meat and we're gonna like, go ahead and saute the onion. It's gonna be very flavorful. It's gonna be really flavorful. I don't know why. Yesterday I was craving Chinese food last night, and uh, and today I'm making something. We're just gonna sweat the onion. That's it. Get it soft. Then after that, then we'll take it out and. Uh, favorite dishes I know the holidays is coming soon what do you like to make at home during the holidays let me know in the comments below what you guys like and uh, maybe we can help each other and uh, try to do something every day it's a new adventure every day it's a new thing that's how we learn on the go you don't have to be a perfect chef, a perfect cook, or anything like that to create a dish. So, believe it or not, no matter what you do, it's going to be amazingly tasty because you made it. And you don't know what's uh, extra additives or... Uh, extra stuff that said it's added from outside so i know what i'm doing i know what i add in here so it's going to be better for me for my health and all that so see the onion is getting uh, sauteed it's getting softened right now see how beautiful this color is i'm just going to give it another like a minute or so then we'll take it out and we start uh, adding up the rest of the ingredients. And we will show you how, how does it look like at the end. All right, now we'll put this on the side. And I, as you see, you know, I didn't cook it 100% either. Like, you know, because we're gonna go ahead and uh, add everything together right now. So, we're just gonna add a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil, not much, because we're gonna add uh, just the grease at the bottom of the, the pan. And uh, we're gonna add some soy. Crutch pepper. Garlic. Oyster sauce. Now we're gonna add a little bit of that uh, sesame oil. Not a lot, otherwise it's going to overpower. Then we'll add the black pepper. Any 
and just a little touch of uh, salt. So let's whisk it all together. Now we just need to add a little bit of water. So now we're going to go ahead and add the onion. the beef beans and we're going to toss them all together This one needs to be cooked for about, about two minutes, two minutes or so, you know, to get all the flavor combined together. And uh, you can see, now we're getting there. The beef is really, really soft. I mean, I can tell right away and just cook it for a minute or two and uh, we can taste it and see how is the seasoning. Then at the end, we're going to, you know, add a little bit of sesame for, uh, for, you know, for look, just for garnishing. Let's give the sauce taste. Bad. Just need a little bit of uh, water. It's really good. You can put this uh, on the side of rice. You can even put it on the top of the uh, noodles. You know. Need me a little chopstick, and voila! See, it didn't even take maybe ten minutes. Not even. Mm. Oh, huh? And the beef.
This is good. Honey, dinner is served. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a hit on the like button, please. And let's see each other another day. Have a wonderful day and trying to make it. Have a good day.